Welcome to another Armor 3 editor tutorial. This one's going to show you how to have NPCs use voice chat with the text appearing on the screen uh, after you enter a trigger. Uh, this is a long and painful process to get this working. Um, I'm not sure why anyone would really want to do this in their mission, but there are some viewers that continually pester me for a tutorial on this. So here it is. Firstly, I'll show you what it does, and then I'll go through the very painful process of showing you how to do it. So I've got these two guys set up with some animations, and they are going to start talking and saying things uh, with the text appearing in the bottom left of the screen when I enter a particular trigger, and here goes. We have a mission for you. Lieutenant Parker took Charlie 3 4 for a short patrol, and now we can't contact him on the radio. Knowing Parker, he probably just forgot to turn the radio on. Go find that incompetent clown and bring him back here. We think Parker's last known location was only about 1200 meters northwest of here. We haven't heard any gunfire, so we think it's just Parker being an incompetent twat. Go bring him back, will you? Understood, sir. I'll go get him. So that's how it works. Um, these NPCs will speak and the text that they, or the words they're speaking will appear as text. And I did the same for my playable unit. So you'll see that they're understood, sir. I'll go get him appeared on the screen as I said it. Now let's go through the process. Firstly, we obviously need a playable unit and I've given the playable unit a variable name of Connor. You can use whatever you like. I've given this guy a variable name of Miller, and I've given this guy a variable name of Jones. I've also placed a trigger, and I'll explain what we need to do in the trigger shortly. Um, suffice to say, for the moment, we need any player present as the activation. Once you have saved the mission, go to the scenario folder. You're going to need these files here, and I will make this a downloadable link so you can grab this and you don't have to create them all for yourself. But let's firstly have a little bit of a look at the description.ext. And here we have class config sentences. Uh, I've called it conversation at base class briefing. And then it refers to brief B I K B uh, for the file and an include of B I brief B I K B. Inside the brief B I K B file, I have class sentences and then class brief Miller line one. And here you'll see this is the actual text of what Miller says in the voice file. And this line here refers to a folder called chat and a sound file called t1.ogg. And the actor is Miller, which is the variable name that I have given to the NPC that speaks first. The next section here is Jones. And again, text equals what the voice file actually says in text. And then it refers to the folder chat and the file t2.ogg. And the actor is Jones, which is the variable name that I've given to the second NPC. The last one here is Connor and the text that I actually speak in the sound file. And it relates to chat t3.ogg which is the sound file and the actor is connor which is the variable name of my player and again we have uh, these four lines down here are required for this to work next file i've opened to have a look at is a file i've called chat1.sqf 
and briefing conversations at base, which is the class name of the conversation set, and call BIS FNC B or KB tell. Um, if you don't know what that means, it doesn't matter because as long as this is in there, it will work. And inside the actual chat folder, I have these three sound files. Now I'm just going to take these other ones out because I need to show you what to do to make the lip sync work with these sound files. Now I recorded all of these sound files in a program called Audacity. And if you're going to record them, which obviously you will need to, what you need to do in Audacity is to ensure that this is set to mono, not stereo. It must be mono because if it's stereo, then you won't be able to use them for this particular purpose. So these are mono, they're 16-bit mono files. Now to get the lip sync working, you need Armour 3 tools installed. So in your library, you need to go to Armour 3 tools. Launch, play Armour 3 tools. Now you need to get your folder containing the sound files ready. You need to go down to audio, but do not click on this part. Click on the folder to the right. And this will open uh, another window. You've got a bunch of files here. You need to go down till you find wav to lipexe Then you need to take each one of these files so I'm taking t1.ogg and I am dragging it onto lav, wav2lip.exe and you see it's now created another file in here which is t1.lip. I need to do the same with the next one and I need to do the same with the last one. So what this does is actually creates these three files inside your directory in your mission that contains your audio files, which then enables the lip syncing to occur. Now that we have these files inside the mission, we need to go back into the editor, noting that the chat1.sqf inside the trigger is here. So null equals exec VM and in brackets chat1.sqf activation any player present. I haven't set any delay on this trigger and this will work. I have a mission for you. Lieutenant Parker took Charlie 3 4. So as I said, control. this works. Knowing Parker, he probably just forgot to turn the radio on. Go find that incompetent clown and bring him back here. You think Parker's last known location was only about 1,200 meters northwest of here. And you can you see this is 3D as fire, well, because so it's only playing from this guy. Competent twat. Go bring him back, will you? Understood, sir. I'll go get him. Now, if you want to add more of this stuff, you need to go into your brief.bikb and add another one of these sections underneath here, down the bottom. So we've got line one, line two, line three. We could copy this and make line four and put another one underneath. Now, these need to be in the order that you want the chat to happen. So this will be first said, this will be second said, this will be third, etc. And there's nothing that you need to do with the mission SQM. Um, this has probably been a rushed and abbreviated explanation. Um, and the reason for that is I'm going to export this as a folder that you can download and have a look at yourself. 
Uh, obviously change the sound files, change the locations of your NPCs, rename them whatever you like. Um, but you need to ensure uh, that you have the variable names of the NPCs or players here that are going to say these lines. You need to ensure that you have the name here or the path to the file and the text that is spoken placed into here. If you have questions or this is not working for you for whatever reason, um, let me know in the comments section below. Visit us on our Discord. The link is in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have not become confused, but if you grab the file uh, that will be linked in the description, uh, open it up, have a look at it, have a look at the files in it, and you should be able to work out how this works and what you need to edit to add your own sound files and text. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. Take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.